say good morning from uh, Motobon, Virginia. We are getting ready to go meet a friend today, and then we're going to take this ride on the ferry. We're going to cross the James River Bridge. Go about 20 some miles north up uh, on 10, and we're going to hit a ferry. The ferry actually will take us across the James River back the other way. So it should be pretty cool. We're just out here with Lucy today, man. It's trying to have a uh, good morning. It's refreshing. It's fairly uh, fairly cool. I don't know, probably in the 60s, low 60s. Going to get up to 70 today. So yeah, we're going to make that trip. I hope you enjoy this video. I appreciate y'all. Till next time. Later. See if that's in the pocket. So hey, yeah, good morning. Up on back to the Audubon, Virginia Channel. Yeah, it's a beautiful, absolute beautiful morning with the popos over there. They got a little business conference going on, I suppose. And uh, good lord, I am actually up on a, a Sunday morning to take some time to meet up with people. Yeah, I've been out riding with these people for several, several years. But definitely since I've had uh, Lucy here, this is 2015, so 2015, 2016, we've been riding all the time. Uh, except for the last few years, we don't do it every Sunday. Oh, you couldn't wait till you got back there? How <laughs> that's cool. I don't know, people, man, they don't want to wait their turn. They just want to scoot out in front of you. The road. <laughs> They're rude. They ain't let it ruin your morning, man. We're going to have a good time no matter what. But where would we be if we didn't have somebody cutting up and being rude? Huh? We would think we was in a different world. So hey, you got to get the key on down the road, man. Yeah, I just got to talk myself into good times. You ever done that? Yeah? That's a good way to get yourself pumped up. Woo! Now I don't have no place to put a coffee. I don't know. I, my, I see all the horrible bumps we got here. I'd have coffee all over the place. I definitely have to have my yette. And I can't afford to I can't afford to pull that off and leave it somewhere. There, look at that guy go. Mercy. We're 45. You're gonna get in front of me too. Yeah, you gotta cross lanes. And hurry up. Gotta hurry up, get where you're going, man. So I was watching Ray Gregory this morning. He found some daggone grass clippings, like heavy, big mower. It's like they waited way long to cut that uh, trail that they were cutting. <laughs> it was like bales of grass on the daggone road, but I guess they were trying to blow it off. He said, yeah, I'll give them that. But it's interesting what we find as we uh, venture on through our little ventures. And, and how, well, how does our brain like, uh, perceive people and things like like me did, did I get in the uh oh what do you call it, the road rage immediately I sure did man I, that's what happens I think when I have commuted way too much on motorcycle well anything that you commute on you you can get road rage I, geez I'd like that in the car I used to give that stuff up I did for quite a while and I just was really really in a blessed state of mind and uh Nothing bothered me. I don't know, just so happy to be alive and be uh, recovering from active addiction back in the day. Man, I had some problems. So, you know, I'm not gonna burden you with all that stuff, but it wasn't it wasn't a good time. I went and uh, got, got a little help and, and kind of like, what do you say? T t turned a leaf, turned a, a couple leaves and abstained from all mind and mood altering substances man giving yourself a break like that if you've never done that and you've got rid of some of the the daunting thoughts and things in your in your head that uh you may continue the heavy drinking or the heavy party usage uh substances you, you, it, it is like a big relief and a such a break and and you don't have to you don't have to live like that you don't even know you're living like that for the longest time you stay in denial of it that's what they call the disease deni disease of denial because you have an ego and you got no idea that you have an ego you just that's, i'm normal that's what everybody's like this watch this lady want to be be lane switching 
She's sitting so low, man, you can barely see out the window. So yeah, anyway, we won't get into that. I've said that about a million times on my videos, but you know, I had to hear it a million times too. Like, man, what's this guy always talking about? Uh, the good Lord, the good Lord. Jeez, he must be a religious man. Yeah, it really don't have nothing to do with religion. There we go, we got another flyer by. It's only 45 through here. I'm doing 55 and she's passing me. Like I wasn't even going anywhere. So that's the way it is out on these roads. I know you got the same type of situations in your area. Just be careful out there, people, watching all these merger inners and crosser overs and right next to you. You don't know. They ain't caring about you. And you shouldn't expect them to. These people are generally what we call self-centered. Hit your brakes a few times. Brake light, give them a little flash. Let them know that you see them. They see you, more importantly. I'm paying attention today. You paying attention? Of course you are. You're on, you're on the video. You're paying attention to the, the complete 100% motor bomb uh, video experience. My goodness, we did a live. If you ever been to my community lives, we have community lives. I don't like mine that's community, but I just kind of host them and try to fumble through it. Uh, experimenting and, and figuring out things as I go. Got lots of nice supporters out there. Uh, you know, Ray Gregory shows up every, every one for me. And he does one on Fridays too as well. Uh, Ray Gregory rides Friday at 7 p.m. A community live. And that live is kicked off and doing fantastic. What a way to spend your Friday evening with friends and like-minded people People who love to motor vlog and ride ride motorcycles and talk about GoPros and subscribers and video making and editing and sometimes we get blessed by a, a, a John from Road Reality and he has a road uh, he has a Creator Reality as well channel he's got a nice size channel he's got a nice following and uh, makes some really cool videos and he shares some of that stuff with us he gives it away you know free of charge which is really nice you know it's it's a cool thing about being in the community you know always in the outside trying to figure out everything you know you can actually talk to the guy and get get questions uh kind of answered right up front if you need to we don't uh, drill him with that because yeah he likes to get on and i'm sure talk about whatever heck i don't know just just be kind to your peeps and don't use and abuse them just because they know uh know some stuff you might want to know I just I like to be, be friendly and, and enjoy people's uh, company and learn what they're about personally. That's what we did uh, on the live and we pulled up each other's channels. I'd find like their first video, we'd screen share it so we can all kind of watch it together and skim through the video, you know, segments of it. Just enough to get a little taste, a little flavor of what was going on the first time you made a moto vlog video. That was really fun. I hope some of y'all that might have been at the live and listening to this one today remembers that. We had Frogzilla was on there. I think the first one was South Osmoto from Australia. And of course Dave's channel for Dave, he's from Australia. He was on there. We had Rolling with T-Bone. Yes. What a celebrity he is in a way. You know, we say that with uh humbleness I when I call them that just it just they're good people man you like to give them a little little perk a little woo and uh, T-Bone's been around he has done some pretty cool things in his life and he shared some of that with us on the live so you want to hear a little bit of T-Bone's story I gotta be quiet I gotta watch what I'm doing here And then we're pulling up. Yeah, so anyway, it was great. And here's a, here's a, here's a fantastic guy right here. Ronnie E. Daly. I wanted to roll up like, like a wrecking ball. 
How did I do? Well, I should have fell. All right for them. I should have fell down or forgot my kickstand. <laughs> it's okay. Give me some love, man. Right, group hug. Yeah. Dean was there before now. Yeah. Dean. Yeah. I just didn't get it the first time. <laughs> I'm young. What's up? We're in a cool restaurant called Tommy's before we go out on the ferry ride I was talking about. Uh, I like the library on the ferry or join you or something like that, if you don't mind. And you get yeah, on the ferry. Man. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, that would be definitely cool, bro. That would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I, re, I re-drank because, you know, relapse is a therapy word. <laughs> the Toyota color that they've had since Let's get a look at this beauty. But only in the UK. Just last year it came to the US in this bright orange like this. I was like, I need that. But I took the pearl out of it and used the pearl to make the little design. And then I would put the pearl in just, like, by itself in the airbrush to do it. Wow. How long did that process take you? About two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. I painted it all gray and then it sat in the shop for like a month. Daughter's heavy, seven long. He's got his beautiful uh, real glide. So good. It's a unique one. So yeah, you pick a bear block and start playing. And we got uh, the Can-Am here. Little Spidey, mighty Spidey. And look at this, I think that's a 2024. Yeah, we've gotten it before. Cool. Hey. Good morning. What is it? Road King, yeah? Hey, is I that right? No, thank you. Is that what we got here? Road King, yeah? What year is this Road it's King? 03. 03, yeah. How long you've had it then? About two and a half years. Maybe three. Really? Look at how cool. Tags April. Did you get that done or did it come that way? Okay, it was like that, man. No, yeah. cho no choice and I'm okay with it. Yeah, people people that, like it. You know, a lot of people don't like to have something already customized when they get it. That, I, that's I a, that one, that's a go. Oh, yeah? Because it looks cool. Thank you. That's badass, ain't it? Thank you, yeah. I love skulls, okay. so I'm like, you Thank know. you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. I appreciate it, man. You're welcome. I'm so good. Right. We'll probably have some more showing up. Should be a good time. So, yeah, got a good day ahead. Cool. You get some good stuff, don't you? We're flashing. You get some good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I put all this stuff on YouTube. Saddle leather. Huh? Get on there. Take, say hi to the peeps. We're on a live stream. My good friend here. From 98. Yep, he was the one that had the, uh, the Road King over there with the cool skulls on the side. Nice. People like it. Chris talked about getting a paint job. I don't said I don't think so. I've had compliments all race day. I love People that thing. Like it. Yeah. I don't know what the theme is, or I mean, I don't know what I, what's the skull represent. I, I don't know. <laughs> cool. It looks cool. That's all that matters. Yeah, we're getting ready to roll, so we'll be going across the James River Bridge in a couple miles here. Two miles, maybe away. Nice. I'm going to be careful. Lots of gravel and slippery stuff around here. No front brake. Just remember, no front brake. <laughs> Woo! Well, I don't hear you, Sick. Are you uh, saying anything? Okay, I hear you now. I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose you. I just did a blonde hit. Here we go. <laughs> Trying to get it. <laughs> yeah, this sounds great. Yeah, probably a mile, mile and a half will be on the, uh, it's a five mile bridge that goes across the James River. Probably get a good 60, 70, 80 foot up in the air once you're in the middle of it. Nice. Yeah. Group rides, you don't know where anybody's going. It's hard. People out of formation and changing spots on you. It's a, it's a challenge sometimes. 
Yeah, you gotta have like four heads. Yeah, yeah it's just and ten eyes. Especially when, when you're, you're you're in town and we got we're on a four lane, forty five mile an hour highway right now. Yeah, there's a lot of places. Yeah, going busy part of town. Yeah. We're about to get out of it though here. But everybody pretty much like keeps their own spot. Like they don't like. Like I can't stand people that swap their spots left and right. Yeah. yeah like, like if you're gonna stay somewhere, stay somewhere. Yeah, exactly. You know, don't keep on moving all over the place. And like I'll yeah. even I'll even point to where I'm going in the lane if I'm gonna go there, you know? Yeah, be clear and concise about your movements is always best. Yeah, because I don't have signals. You know, I I okay. Yeah, I'm constantly pointing and doing like yeah, that way nobody's guessing. Yeah. Man. Guessing gets you in trouble. All about sign language. Was you able to hear the bikes when I ramped it up a little bit? Did it come through? Yours. Yeah. Yeah, this mic on the, you know, the Freecom 4 Cardo is pretty much cancels everything. Like, you, you don't even know I'm on a motorcycle usually. What's that? Rod? I can't hear you. Everybody expects you to hear everything. Yeah, the first few minutes of ride, man, everybody's amped up and hitting her, hitting the throttle and getting the noises made. It's cool. Was that a car or somebody on the, in the group talking to you? Oh, that was uh, the group. That's James. He's the one with the blue uh, road glide that he just bought that, I don't know, less six, eight months ago. Not that long ago. I love that color. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I, I had him featured in one of my videos not long, not too long. It's a ways back there, but I did a little walk around. and He's the one that had the FU on his helmet. I hate that one. That is fantastic. Yeah, we all wore that at one time. I had it on my helmet for quite some time. We were the FU crew. We weren't no club, just hangouts. All right. It looks like you got great weather. Yeah. It's going to be 70 today, so... Yeah, we're on the bridge now. Yeah, it seems like... Oh, that looks gorgeous. Can you smell the water? The water? What'd you say? you smell the water? Nah, this is brackish. Yeah, I love when you like get close to the water and you can start smelling it. Have you yeah, I'm going, going across the steel, steel grate. Do you see any of the bridge? Yeah, that's a drawbridge. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it pulls straight up, and it's all steel great. Yeah, perfect. No, no hiccups or nothing. We're making our first stop. First stop already. Everybody gets fueled up. What's that? Make me louder. I, I try to shout more, like when I'm going down the road, but when I'm just sitting here, I ain't talking as loud. Got four watching. Who's out there? Two four still moto. Yeah. Sorry, two four. It's a uh, apparently not the best setup unless I'm shouting into the mic. Just when we're sitting still here, everybody else that's around me thinks I'm hollering at them. You know, they like they yeah, don't even know I'm on the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just talking to myself. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, don't even pay attention, just crazy person no. over here talking to myself. I, I got more words. people, I got more important people on here, right? I still love to be with you guys and even the people I'm out riding with at times, you know, it's, it's equal. That's funny. And you know what's funny though, is like in public, I try to like almost talk quietly. I was going to trade with you at the stoplight. I was going to let you ride my bike. Oh! <laughs> I was going to get off and let you ride. I will do a, swa a fireman drill at the stoplight. I'd love to do that, man, If you at some point, man. That, take a little putt for a few miles. Yeah. 